Okay, here's a picture of a random trapezoid with base B sub 1 and base B sub 2 all the way from here over to here. Uh, dropping heights from the short base perpendicular to the longer base. And what we want to do is develop a formula for the area of the trapezoid by breaking it into the sum of the areas of three regions, triangle one, triangle two, and rectangle. So the total area of the trapezoid is going to be, well, the area of the rectangle is length times width, so that's going to be sub one, be B sub one times H. Uh, now here's what we have to do. <clears throat> Realize that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So this distance right here is also B sub 1. So if we take B sub 2 minus B sub 1, that'll be the amount that's left for this, these legs of the right triangles. Uh, so let's call this X right here. That means this leg right here must be B sub 2 minus B sub 1, take away X. <clears throat> so the area of triangle 1 is 1 half the base times the height. I'll put the height first, plus the area of triangle 2 is 1 half the height times this B sub 2 minus B sub 1 minus X. And if I distribute that 1 half H, across the terms inside the parentheses, I get plus one half H B sub two minus one half H B sub one minus one half H X. And here's what happens. I've got a 1 half HX positive, 1 half HX negative. So the X's disappear. And now I can factor H from each term. And I get B sub 1 plus 1 half H B sub 2 minus 1 half H. Whoa, I didn't write that very well. One half, my wrist is slipping. Uh, H, B sub one. Wow. <clears throat> there we go. And these two terms are similar. One B sub one minus half B sub one gives me one half b sub 1 plus 1 half b sub 2. Remember, I factored out the h. And now I can factor out the 1 half. And I get 1 half h b sub 1 plus b sub 2. And you can think of that as the height times the average of the two bases. There you go. Hope that helped. Have any questions, post a comment.